<laughs> Gina and Tapaya, I, I feel like you're the two little rat bags <laughs> no of the team. No. Oh yeah, and I, I have a sneaking suspicion that you train your little bums off so you can make the silver ferns and travel the world together, yes or no? No. Because we did never. this last time. Yeah, I remember this actually and four years ago. I kind of felt like you're lucky you won because you were, couldn't stop talking about the travel you were going to do after that. We couldn't talk about it at the time because it was weird. <laughs> but now you guys just travel the world just for fun and just like a little side of netball? No. Uh, we'd like to fun, have we? something to aim towards. So like, you know, there's always so a little carrot. Yeah, there's always a little carrot. Like we work hard because there's something to look forward to and that's what keeps us motivated. Like the World Cup. Like the World Cup and mm. then travel. Mm. But World Cup obviously mm -hmm. is the carrot. Yeah. You're just leaving all together. Mm. So you don't have anything to say. Mm. Um, who do you think you are? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but your second, like, uh, sabbatical? sabbatical. No, see, I don't, I don't know how it became a sabbatical. No one ever said that. Hey, when Dan Carter called. did it, it was sabbatical. Yeah, Dan uh, Carter, Gina Crampton. I know, thing. that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm asking, like, yeah, who right. the hell you think you are? <laughs> I'm Dan Carter in that form. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, how hard uh, is that decision for you, G? Yeah, it was very hard. Um, I'm can be quite an emotional person. So it was a hard few weeks. I had sort of like people on one side, like go for it, you know, take a break or give it all up. And then other people are like, no way, you can't be doing that. But I think it was just the right time in terms of um, being in it for a while. Um, it's a World Cup year and I really wanted to do that. Um, so maybe it was the right time to see what else um, my life could bring. Mm. And so who, who are you going to be friends with if Gina's not here? Well, actually, I've decided to go and um, visit her in America. Oh, so you're just not going to let so, her leave? <laughs> <laughs> so after the World Cup, I'm going to head over to um, New York for an, uh, maybe two or three weeks and yep. just have a look around, you know, see what see what it's like over there. Oh, see, see what, what's like the... Just everything, food. Oh, like the men or something? No, 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 absolutely <laughs> oh. not. They might have... Really tall men over there. They should. Uh, I don't discriminate. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so let's talk netball. Yeah. So that might be good. Uh, ANZ champs. Um, for you guys, Gina, the semi finals was outstanding. You guys have been in that position a couple of times to maybe win or lose by one, but mm. you ended up getting that one. Uh, what did that one mean for you guys as a group? Yeah, that, that was massive. That was probably my favourite game of the year. Well, yeah. the final couldn't have been my final uh, favourite game, but <laughs> um, it was huge. It was massive. Like, we always knew Pulse were going to be a huge, huge challenge because of the way that they play, and they're very consistent in that as well. It was a home game for them too, It was wasn't a home it? game, yeah. We were quite um, happy that it was actually in Porirua because TSB's probably got the best crowd in New Zealand at the moment. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think y you could see it in all of our faces as well. Just, like, at the end, it was pure like elation and is that the right word elation mm -hmm. just joy um, no sorry go on. <laughs> um but yeah it was it was massive i'm so so happy that we did that and and made it to the final year and did you know um that you were going to take this um this random holiday at that point and so that did mean a lot to you, that game, getting in the final, knowing that you were going to take a bit of time off? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had, uh, also with Ali Temu leaving as well, mm -hmm. we had both told the team maybe a week or two prior to that. Oh. And I think that was probably quite good. It was out the way and um, didn't feel like I was sort of holding it in at the game. And um, I think that was the best way to do it, actually, because it was just like, it's now or never. Yeah. You don't want this to be your last game kind of thing. Yeah. So. And then <laughs> the, final. the final happened. That yeah. was cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just not even going to talk to you about it. Cool. Hey. Um, Teeps, tactics. They had Laura Malcolm this year. Um, not a lot of imports come through New Zealand. Obviously, the rules are different to get imports over here, but you did have Laura Malcolm, who is in the English team. How was her effect on your team this year? Like, what does she offer? What does she add? Yeah, I really enjoyed having her. I've never really played with an English player mm. or had an English player in my team before. And it was quite interesting. She says that we're really chill over here. I think over there they're quite, you know, you see them celebrating hard out in their huddles. They're really loud. And she was quite surprised at the fact that we're so chill. But yeah, it was just nice just getting to know her, just the ins and out of 
our, what netball's like in England, just the differences. Um, she brought a different style. Um, the thing that we struggled with probably the most is she didn't come for pre-season, so mm -hmm. it, we had like a really short amount of time um, to play with her before we the season kicked off. But yeah, I really enjoyed having her. I love speaking in an English accent. We always speak in an English accent like a to fake each other. English accent. Well, it's, it's genuine. Um, <laughs> is it? So we've been doing this for years. We just speak in an English accent to each other. It's really weird. Why. But she came over and I was able to just continue that. And she was like, yeah, you're just... No, she said you were bad. No, she I said I speak no... like a northern northerner. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, but that's what they say when it doesn't sound right. Uh, mm. Yeah, well, Cause so I'm... I was able to continue that. So it was just, <laughs> it was natural. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's not what happens. No, that's not great. Natural. Even on court, I'd be like, pass me the ball. <laughs> like every... What is that? Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's just what we do. So, it's this thing we do. So you're trying to tell me <laughs> that you're trying to speak in an English accent to me, and the sentence you choose is "pass me the ball." Well, everything. I just that's just how I speak. <laughs> and so she just came over, and it was quite natural. She felt at home, so it was quite nice for her. Even her partner came over and was like, "Yeah, perfect. You'd oh, fit right man. in." <laughs> So, if you just shut up for a second, because you make absolutely no sense. But I do want to hear a little bit more of your English accent. Could no, you? Uh, I think that's no. Could you just tell idea. me what you, you don't want to do? It. No, no, no. Oh, do you do you speak to each <laughs> other? <laughs> well, you're I'm done. not doing that. Okay. It'd be so cute. What about your little New York accent? Do you have one of those for us? Oh no. <laughs> Next talk. <laughs> you're so uncomfortable. Why? Because I'm thinking about Gina. all the people that are going to watch this video and yeah, we're looking like idiots. Like <laughs> everyone. It's so natural. Yeah. Mm, so like natural. back to her roots, Northern. Oh, you don't yeah. even know where Northern UK is. New, I think Newcastle. it might be yeah. <laughs> too much uh, TV. Uh, anyway, netball. Netball. Netball World Cup. Mm. It's going to be interesting. Like there's a very, uh, I guess, a broad mix of international netballers who have actually moved countries mm. to kind of get better and learn. So who's going to be <laughs> the who do you want to play against? Like, who are you most excited, individually, person, um, and why? I've been watching a little bit of the Super Netball competition and the Jamaican defenders have been really, really mm. good this year. They've got Jodie Ann Ward, um, Shamira, Shamira Latanya Wilson, and I think in the past they've probably been not so consistent or, you know, maybe their fitness wasn't quite up, but I think watching them this year they seem like they've, they've, been, they've been great. So they're going to be really, a really tough team to come up mm. against, as always. Yeah. What about you, Gina? Anyone you can like an Australian you want to take on slash down? <laughs> slash down. <laughs> Look, I think there's so many people that um, pose massive threats, um, and I think yeah, it's always a good one against the Aussies. Mm. And Ash Brazel um, is a fierce competitor. She's also retiring as well, so she'll have a lot of motivation behind her. So I think yeah, it's always a good battle against her. And. I know if I ask you if you think you'll be in the gold medal match, you'll be like, yeah, we kind of deserve to. Mm. Um, or we don't know, we want to do our best. But do you think you deserve to be in the gold medal match before seeing anyone play any international matches yet? Based on how the last four years have gone, there's been a rotation. Uh, okay. Like, do you think you deserve to be in the gold medal match this year? Yes, absolutely. Why? <laughs> oh, I think over the next coming weeks, like what we're about to head into and the group that we have, I think absolutely yes. Mm. Yeah, we've got firepower, we've got mix of every like subject you could have in a team. Um, we've got some really exciting players, we've got people coming back. Everyone's sort of been through this huge journey since the last World Cup, you know, new people coming in, old people going in and out, babies, all these sorts of things that I think, yeah, we've got the right people to do the job. Yeah. And just straight up, yes. Yes, well, well, in English, one, though, way. Eh? There's this one chick from um, Tonga. Tonga Tala girls oh. that's coming back. She knows she's gone away, had a few kids. She's a bit of a threat to us, but <laughs> she'll be yeah. out to get she'll us. She'll be out to get us. But... Hey, if not on the netball court, I'll trip you up in the hallways. <laughs> I'll do what I can for my country. Damn it! <laughs> no, thank you so much. You guys are so naughty. We're so um, absolutely I just love it's talking a to you guys. It is. It's always this from is you not as real. well. <laughs> You're just little eggheads who are really good at netball. So and really good at English accents. And really good at accents. <laughs> um, man, I love you guys. Thank you so <laughs> much. We can't wait to see you guys um, in that gold medal match because you deserve to be there. We do. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Good luck.